Hey guys, it's Team Cloud 204, and this is a. I think this is for my update number three or four. I forgot, but it'll be in the title, so yeah. So let's get started. So, first, I'll start off with the earrings. So, these are actually shrinky dinks that we did in um, our science class. It's actually um, animal cells. You have to draw it. And then, um, it was not actually a big piece of paper, that's why they're called shrinky dings. And, yeah. And, bless you. And then it hangs on these earrings. So yeah, our teacher gave it with the index card, so. Yeah, that's that. So, then with the polymer clay, is the rest of the term of these polymer clay, so. Then I made these cupcake stud earrings, and I think these are super cute. These are... Give an example, which is this one. It's this strawberry base. Um, the vanilla part is textured and shaded, and it has um, strawberry icing and a cherry on top. This is basically the same thing. And, yeah, that's the studs. So they are studs. Then after that, I made these blue ones. They're like little blueberry ones. So they're basically the same thing except blue with the blueberry on top and stuff. And they're also studs. And then this one has a super protective one, like it has the back one too. So yeah. Now on to charms and stuff like that. So a lot a lot of these are um, a week old, but some of them I did bake yesterday and glaze and whatever. Stuff like that, but yeah. So here is the first one. It's This one's the week old one that I was saying, but I'm not going to keep mentioning that, but... It's like a present one, and this was inspired by All Things Cupcake 2000. She did uh, it way better, but I attempted. And it looks like that, and it has sparkles and stuff. And there's the mirror. Oops, sorry. There's the mirror. And it's on a cell phone strap. So, yeah. So, um, when I made these earrings, these, um, like, I didn't like one piece, so I just left it bland. So, it's like this. So, let's get on to the other cupcakes. I don't have that many, so I really like this. It's a, like a chocolate hazelnut cupcake, and it's textured and shaded. And it has a cherry on top, and I think it's super cute. And after that, I made a lemon one. And it is also, as well as textured and shaded, it has a cherry on top as well. Then after that, I have this, I tried to make Koji Pan, but then I didn't really like how it turned out, so I made this, like, ooh-faced one, and it's textured, there's its base and stuff. <coughs> after that, moving on from the cupcake, a little surprise is YT um, did some ornament character charms, and I got inspired. I actually didn't use any of her ideas, it's just, like, I, I had some ideas after she made them. So, yeah, I didn't use any of our ideas, but I got inspired by her to make some. But, besides that, this is just a normal one. Let me just zoom out a little. Okay, so, this is a blue one with sparkles, and a lot of its sparkles are falling off. Just because I was running out of glaze. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say, um, this glaze that I got, it's new sparkly one. It's not exactly glaze, it's clear nail polish, but it's the sparkly one, which I really don't like because I run out of the clear nail polish, so I had to use... The glittery one, because there was no other one left in her steer. So, anyways, yeah, it's this, it's like this. Um, then after that, I made the character ones. So I made Patrick. Sorry, there's some hair. Okay, I made Patrick, and like I said, it's sparkly because it's a glaze, which I really don't like. Because if I'm wearing, making realistic charms, and then it gets in the way. But anyways, and I really like how this turned out. Then after that, I made the SpongeBob one. I know I kind of messed up at the tie, but I didn't feel like putting on the anchor either. So, yeah. After that, I made this Santa on break one. I realized after I baked it, I forgot to put the beard, so it's like on break because he's like only wearing his belt. So, yeah. And then I made this Tuxedo Santa. And I'm not good at Tuxedo Sam because I don't know how he looks like. Um, so, yeah, it's like my best. So, after that, I made a few, like inspired charms I guess. So I made this. Um these were inspired by Cute and Popo who did a um white snowman and I just made some blue and pink ones so I made this one. Sorry about the lighting. 
So, yeah, and it has a pink hat. Then I made this one. This reverse is pink and then blue hat. Then after that, I made a Mamagoma. And first of all, I want to say the Mamagoma is cute, but the face is a fail. So, yeah, it's wearing a party hat and it's chubby. So after that, um, another turn, I made this Rudolph, the Red Nose Ranger. And as you can see, there's a lot of glitter on this one. So, yeah, there's him. And it's not purposely on the glitter, like I said, the glaze. And he has some blush in its ears. And then this side, I didn't put a eye, I guess. But after that, I wore this at school. This one has a bunch of glitter. But I was okay with this one with glitter. Um, but its ears kept falling off because my elbow was on it during art. And yeah, it broke off. But I glued it. Well, um, glue sticks, I glued it back on, which is weird. But it stuck on, so... Yeah, after that, I attempted to make some cake rolls, so, this one, I, this was, like, my first cake roll, and I think it turned out pretty good, it's, like, hazelnut chocolate, and I actually ate a real cake roll, and it has, like, that vlog texture, it has a whipped cream dollop, and it has drizzle and a cherry on top, here are the other slices, I didn't want to texture them, I think they turned out pretty cute. One. Okay, so onto the other stuff. Um, I made this um, bear waffle, and uh, I just had a waffle mold that I made for my other time update. So yeah, and it has some chocolate sauce. So I just tried it. Well, then after that, I made this gingy inspired by Ava strawberry. And yeah, I only glazed the features, um, and it's textured and shaded. And her tutorial was really helpful, and I did not use a cookie cutter, so it's kind of bad. But I think it's still really cute. And I wish I made this a charm, it's just too thin. <laughs> so after that, I made um, this um, some owls. So they're really easy to make, that's why. If you guys want a tutorial, I'd be happy to do that. So I made this winky owl that's orange. A pink owl that's like mascara running from its face because it's like cried. And this, like, mischievous one, like, that's why it has, like, those little things at the side, and it's blue. And then this is my favorite one, that's why it's, like, a charm. It's this brown one, and it's, like, confused. Then after that, I really like this charm. This is inspired by Pitting Fish Cakes. We did, like, a whole charm update on cats. So I just did the one that was like this. I didn't add the whiskers on purpose because I really didn't like the whiskers. But this is how it looks like, and it's with an onigiri. And it's um, tail is blended in and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this charm update. Sorry, it's long. I'm going to try to make mine shorter, maybe with music. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.